all right guys so um, as you can see I connected up I actually powered on the remote which is connected to the phone and I also have the DJI Mavic Air running right now and as you can see on the DJI Go 4 app we see new firmware is available for the remote controller so I'm gonna click on that and see what happens uh, so let's go okay guys so we see that there's a firmware update this time it's for the actual controller um, so surprisingly it didn't actually tell me anything about the update to the drone as yet so I guess we should probably do the controller first it says do not disconnect the remote controller and mobile device ensure that the controller's battery is charged to at least 30% we have 47% this update requires approximately 10 minutes do not turn off the controller um, it doesn't say what the update really does um, Oh yeah, it does. It says, what's new? The remote control added the ability to adjust the camera parameters. Um, press and hold the customable button and toggle the gimbal to dial to adjust. Okay, so it requires um, a, the other update, which is 500, which I haven't done yet. But well, I guess we could go ahead and update the controller first. Uh, it just gives you some um, information. It tells you to make sure you have 4.3, which we do have. And restart the aircraft and remote control of the update. If it fails, restart the remote control on the DJI Go app. Okay, so let's go. So, I guess we just click start updating. And okay, so it's going to download. It's downloading pretty fast. Oh, look, the progress is 5% already. Wow. It says 10 minutes, but usually DJI doesn't take so long to do updates. It, it, 10 minutes is, is overkill for a DJI update, usually, unless you consider the download time. See how fast it's going um, and see how fast it progresses. There's definitely not 10 minutes, but... Um, I'm glad that they, they do do that warning just in case, you know, because you really don't want to break any of the devices um, by not having enough battery power and so forth. So you progress already 30%. And um, this video is only, what, 1 minute 47 seconds so far. Progress 53%. I just heard that, I just heard the remote restart. Um, I'm still seeing the green light, which means it's connected to the drone. Um, so far so good 56% that's good now this is just one part of the update because um, the other update is, is is actually the more major update and you could probably hear the the, the actual DJI uh, Mavic Air fan in the background right now um, that's because I have the Mavic Air on I thought that the first update would have gone to the Mavic Air but in this case as you heard the beep yourself it's actually doing updates to the remote at this point in time and it's doing a fairly fast job at doing that um, 2 minutes 32 34 seconds into this video okay so it, I see the red light is on which means it disconnected from the drone and maybe it's going to reconnect back yep the red light is now solid <coughs> I suspect maybe it's because of the update and it turned back green lovely so you see update complete manually restart your remote controller okay let's do that um, so I'm going to manually restart here. You can hit off there and now I'm going to connect back. And let's see if it does what it has to do. So it's doing the, doing back the version check as usual um, to see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this time it should pick up that the firmware version is correct and now it should be checking the um what would it be checking it would it would be checking the drone one now all right good so you see a new firmware update is available mavic air uh, 500 so let's go ahead let me just so this is now the update for the actual drone itself it's a lot much larger update than the remote as you can see it's 122 uh plus megabytes uh, it says ensure battery level of all devices is at least 40%. We have 46%. Hopefully that's enough. Do not shut down the aircraft during the update. Reconnect to Wi-Fi if connection is lost. Okay, so we're not connected to Wi-Fi. We're doing it directly from the remote to the drone. So in this update log, we see some information as well too. It says what's new. Um, <laughs> we see the remote. We see the remote controller is now up to version 200. 
and what's new with the aircraft so it fixed the issue where the aircraft behaved abnormally when it misidentified a subject in active track i haven't tested that i haven't tested the active track as yet didn't have any reason but that's good to know because i heard that there were crashes and so forth um so that's definitely good for safety reasons it fixed the issue returning to home where the aircraft continued to fly backward when it sensed obstacles both in front and behind now that sounds very very weird and very very dangerous so i'm glad that they actually fixed that as well um it doesn't really make much sense to me but um definitely erratic behavior that we don't want it fixed the issue where the time was displayed on photos incorrect not something i normally use but that's also good to have the correct time it fixed the issue where the aircraft flight distance was still restricted despite distance limit being disabled in dji go i had an issue with that on the phantom tree so uh glad that they actually solved this also in the malik air um fix the issue where the abnormal current warning appeared too frequency in some situations i think i'll have to do the battery i haven't had that issue with the batteries and fix the issue where the aircraft could not land due to issues with the remote control controller control six i think i may be having that issue so i will have to check on that because um sometimes it takes a little bit a while to land i'm not sure if it's because it's actually checking to make sure that there's no obstacles while landing so only during the test we'll see that and um it fixed the issue where the aircraft could not land due to issues okay right so that's correct uh it just tells you that you need 4.3.0 which we already have um not wasting too much time because we only have 46 percent battery even though it's charging um it just goes through what to do uh, i probably should read through that maximum this one right so it so in this case they're saying that um some settings may be reset while doing this so you may have to go back into the dji app and actually uh, set back your settings after we do this update. So just remember to do that just in case make sure you do that to fly safely and um, I, That's all so let's go ahead and start. So we, all we have to do is click on uh, let's Scroll back up. Uh, we just have to click on start updating and that should be it. So I clicked it and there it goes Let's see how long it takes Download is not bad because my internet is fairly fast. So download shouldn't take too long Again, guys, um, remember to take off your propellers just in case while doing this update. You never know uh, if anything malfunctions or anything like that. And, you know, your drone, you don't want your drone to just all of a sudden fly out in the air. Um, I haven't seen that very often, only once ever. And that was with the Phantom. But just in case, guys, make sure to do that. Take off the props until you finish the update and, you know, all should be well. Um, I'm curious to see how fast this thing will upload. I know it's uploading from the phone. It's would I guess it would go to the controller and then from the controller to the um, to the Mavic Air. Uh, it it seems to be kind of fast. I'm seeing 12, 13 percent already of the of the firmware. And considering that that's at least 12 megabytes, so that's kind of pretty. That's pretty fast when I think about it. So let's see how it goes. 25 percent already. Wow. So it does have a, a pretty fast connection between the remote and um the mavic air that's definitely quite a fast transfer i mean you would expect that considering you get video from the mavic air and you see that on your phone but you know it the technology seems to be there definitely with dji i'm hoping like that but again um i'll be coming out with another video on how dji ruined my vacation uh, so stay tuned make sure to subscribe make sure to like and uh, look out for my rest of videos. Hit that bell icon as well too, right? Because without the bell icon, you won't be notified when uh, that video comes out on how DJI uh, ruined my vacation. But we'll get to that at some point in time. Uh, nearly 81%, 82%. Um, hopefully the audio is not too bad. I know that I have some fans on, so the audio may be a little bit noisy. Ooh, we have gone down to 45% on the phone battery. Um, that's one of the things though, the, 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 the phone, uh, the, the remote doesn't really, it barely trickle charges um, the actual uh, phone, it, it, it really does trickle charge, it doesn't really do a, like a fast charge, All right? but the progress is pretty fast, um, we just bumped up to about 44% there as you can see, 52%, and so um, I would say that with the the drone update, the drone update may take the actual direct Mavic Air update uh, to the aircraft itself does take much longer, as you can see, obviously because of the size and um, 
it's well within 10 minutes though it doesn't usually go over 10 minutes as i said make sure of course to have a full battery at least on the aircraft make sure your phone is at least perhaps 50 percent they say 40 percent um but they're just being extra careful and yeah it seems like it's 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 going pretty well right now pretty well pretty well i'm seeing the lights on the drone uh it's, it's blinking red and yellow while this update is taking place also the lights underneath are yellow uh, the front propellers and the front uh, arms actually not the propellers the front arms and now it's red completely solid red on the arms which i guess means something else it would be nice if they actually said that somewhere in here that would have been nice but doesn't it isn't required did they i wonder let's see nope they didn't they didn't but that's okay 92 percent kind of stuck there uh for a while 93 <coughs> percent okay that's good slowly but surely maybe it's applying something maybe it's unzipping who knows what they really do uh, definitely yeah, the update process is a little bit nicer on this compared to the uh, DJI Go, the, the previous one that uses the Phantom, that is used to update the Phantom, that is, uh, like the new uh, the new style, um, glad that it isn't crashing, 94%, we shall just be waiting, 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 waiting. So yeah guys, okay so I see that the drone is actually, it seemed to power off itself and it's restarting. You could actually hear it in the background, you won't be able to see that but you could hear it in the background. Um, lights have turned green in the front which is good news. And the back is red, okay it says updates complete, manually restart your aircraft. Uh, okay well. Um, it seemed to already restart. Why would wh I? I don't know why they keep saying to restart. You know the phone restart this stuff, but maybe they are. So I, I will switch it off, and I will restart it. You could probably hear the wind going to switch off. Yep, you hear the aircraft off, and now I'm going to switch it back on. And uh, let's see if it will compare with the server and pick up the correct adjustments. Okay, RC is connected. Let's see if there's anything more. It should be aircraft connected. Nice, lovely. Let's check the vision check here very quickly. This may be sideways on your side. This is obviously because I was recording on landscape mode and now it's on portrait mode. And yeah, no up, no more updates. So um, I'm inside the house. So I'm going to click go fly just for you to have a, a, a look at the camera. And let's see if any settings have changed. We could go through the settings very quickly, I suppose. It says latest firmware. Why? I don't know. Magnetic interference. Okay, yeah. Well, I have this thing inside, so it may have magnetic interference. So, wow, inside I get 10 GPS. Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, so guys, thanks so much for viewing. I will be testing it out a little bit later to see if it flies. Thanks so much for viewing. Please consider subscribing and liking. Hit that bell icon. And I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.